what is going on guys look man i know i haven't posted in the last few days my schedule has been kind of busy if you guys are a subscriber to the channel i made a post yesterday letting you guys know i was starting my cdl class it's a four week class man monday through friday in advance man i'm gonna do my best to shoot out videos to you guys roughly about two to three videos a week we do have more stuff on the way so stay tuned guys i promise you you guys have been going crazy and showing me mad love on the on foot review videos i'm still gonna go strong and shoot them out to you guys but nonetheless i was letting you guys know what is going on why i haven't posted in the last few days but today guys we are talking about the jordan 4 military black i let you guys know i was gonna drop this video this morning man we are gonna talk about how to cop for retail the best places to cop for retail last but not least we're gonna take a look at the resale market let you guys know if you should hold or sell this sneaker or cop now if you guys are new to the channel you already know man drop a like subscribe to the channel and join the gang man we haven't seen a jordan 4 release since the jordan 4 thunders back in january so i'm super excited for this pair of sneakers let me know if i missed any other jordan 4s but i do believe the jordan 4 thunder was the last jordan 4 to release in 2022 i'm not gonna lie i'm super excited for this pair of sneakers without further ado guys let's dive in talk about the jordan 4 military black you guys already know i'm a dunk fanboy man i love nike sbs and regular nike dunks but i had to keep my eye on this pair of sneakers the resale on these are gonna go up man i can already tell similar to the jordan 4 oreos if you guys don't remember those me personally I tell myself all the time, I wish I would have started a YouTube channel last year. We cooked up on so many general release drops, man, it was insane. Me personally, I hit at least six to seven pairs of Jordan 4 Oreos, man. Ended up selling all of them, only to find out that the resale value actually doubled in price on almost every single pair that I owned, including grade schools. My point is, I'm not gonna sleep on this pair of sneakers. First on the list, you guys already know, Finish Line. Finish Line is doing an in-store raffle. I doubt they're gonna do exclusive access on this pair of sneakers, at least in my area. It is a in-store raffle that ends today. By the time I get this video out to you guys, the raffle is going to be over. So hopefully you guys were smart enough to call your finish line and see if there was an in-store raffle for you guys to enter. Next up on the list, man, we got Sneakers App. Now Sneakers App is a draw. It is not available for purchase, similar to how the Jordan 4 Thunders were. I don't know if the stock numbers are gonna be limited on this pair of sneakers, but take it with a grain of salt if it's for a draw is for a reason either there's limited pairs or the resale value is going to be high so make sure you guys enter the draw on sneakers app at 10 o'clock don't forget to turn your notice on and hit notify me on the app third on the list guys we got hibbit hibbit's raffle is tomorrow make sure you guys enter multiple accounts on hibbit we're back on the how to cops man make sure you guys have multiple accounts i can't stress that enough multiple accounts on Hibbit to enter the draw. It has to be different devices, different accounts, different phone numbers, similar names. Honestly, with me entering six to seven devices, I usually catch a W on Hibbit. Again, the raffle is tomorrow, so make sure you get your entry. Last but not least, guys, you already know we got Flex App. Now Flex App, Foot Locker Champs, and Kids Foot Locker. It's a hit or miss at this point, honestly. You have to make a new account with Flex App. No lie, my homeboy caught a W on a brand new account for the Cinnamon Toast Crunch Crocs. And they actually let him hit with no head starts. Even though they were honestly available for purchase at 10 o'clock, I was able to get through to purchase my personal size. I actually ended up not copping them. But nonetheless, man, they let him hit with no head starts. So honestly, I would make a new account Keep your OG account if you have points on there, times for your raffle entries, and see if you hit 
They also brought back ship to me, so that is an option. They have grade school, toddler, preschool, and men's sizes. Full family size run, so make sure you guys get your entries in times for your raffles and have a second account on the side. Honorable mentions, I will have to throw these in there. Make sure you guys check Jimmy Jazz DTLR Snipes as well as undefeated feature app and app. You guys already know how they get down. It's gonna get botted up as far as Snipes, Jimmy Jazz, and DTLR. But I would still get your entries in on the Sneaker Boutique websites. Never know if you're gonna catch a W, but I did have to mention those as well. Moving on to the resale prediction, checking on StockX, guys. My size 12 is going for $350. Retail is $210. Honestly, I can see these going up similar to the Jordan 4 Oreos, man. The black, white, and gray colorway is definitely a classic, man. And honestly, to throw such a smooth colorway on a Jordan 4, these are gonna sell out almost instantly. And they're on sneakers app for a draw. So I can only beg to differ that these are gonna go up in resale value. I would honestly hold off on these until they drop on Saturday. Once they drop Saturday, I can honestly see the price going down similar to the Jordan 4 Oreos, and then they're gonna go back up, guys, so I would not cop these right now. I would honestly wait. As far as Jordans are concerned, Jordan 4s have been taking over the game in 2022 and late 2021. I'm not gonna lie, guys, I have been sleeping on a lot of pair of Jordans, man. The last pair of Jordans I cop were the Jordan 1 Rebellionaires. I'm honestly gonna try to get my personal size to get you guys yet another on foot review. I know I said I wasn't gonna go after a bunch of general release drops, but these, man, are similar to the Jordan 4 Oreos. I wish I would have at least kept my pair, but nonetheless, we're gonna go for the military blacks, but I would not cop them right now off the resale market. Think we're gonna double upload today. Stay tuned, man. I got some more information for you guys, so stick around. But until then, it's been your boy Smooth Kicks coming at you guys with another banger video. Catch you guys in the double upload, man. And I'm out, bruh. <laughs>